Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alan Paul, and we're picking up at the beginning, uh, pardon me, at our about eight and a half or nine, nine hours worth of looking for a starship. As you can see, there's nothing on the screen. This is a Iron Man, no starter ship, no HUD challenge. Another name for this challenge is called, and I failed to mention this in the last episode, it is also known as the Impossible Mission Challenge because you can't see anything. So we're going to continue on and try to survive the elements and get where we need to be. Now we're in pretty good shape as far as our person is concerned. We got enough upgrades on our person to really take care of a lot of issues. Uh, heat protection, we've got an extra jetpack unit as well. We have uh, uh, a unit on our uh, health monitor as well to try to keep that going. So I think we're in good shape. Plus, we're paying attention now to the starships that fly overhead, and we're heading in a general direction I think, I think will lead us to some sort of a landing platform or something like that, or maybe an archive. We'll see what happens. Let's get on top of this rock over here. This looks like a good spot to stand. Not seeing a whole heck of a lot of anything yet. But again, I feel pretty good about this. I feel like we're going to find something here. Yeah, to it, we can't flag them down. I got plenty of stuff on my person to sell. So even if we have a ship that lands nearby, we'll be in good shape. We should just about be able to buy just about anything. I think within about 10 million credits. As you can see, we're only carrying about 3 million right now, but we've got enough goods on our person to, boy oh boy, purchase a lot of stuff. Sell a lot of stuff, anyway. Let's charge up real quick. Life support's down to nine. Good timing. And that one. Okay. We're all charged up. Oh, ships. Could have swore there was a third one. Okay, so they're heading in that direction. Let's see which way to go. Thinking to the right. Oh, ever so slightly down and to the right. So we're actually heading in that direction. We're heading in the right direction. Then. That's good. That's really good. Take a close look around. We've got an oxygen patch right over here. Let's grab a little more oxygen, shall we? Because we are running a little low. Oh, for crying out loud. Yep, what did we break? Nothing but my pride. Okay, good. Carrying on. No, we're not trying to feed you. Now, it's not even going to tell us if our inventory is full, so we're actually going to have to check on our own. We are full. Okay. Good. Okay, so back the way we were going, this direction. Let's go up to the ridge and take a look. Next thing we're going to look for very soon, I hope, is we're going to see ships circling. That's what we need to look for, ships circling something. Which means a landing field, which means we're done. <laughs> All right. Unless we happen to run into a crashed ship on the way. And this is a nice vantage point to see a bunch of stuff. I don't see anything at the moment, but pretty good vantage point. We're going to leave the damaged machinery alone because, again, our inventory is currently full. We are gathering phosphorus to keep our heat shields powered up to maximum. I am not creating life support gels because I am not too worried about them. I've got plenty of these uh, plants around here that are giving off oxygen, like that one right down there. Oh, and I keep running across these things. Oxygen patches, huh? No, I'm not trying to point. Life support. No more plants. 
All right, let's get up to the top of, the, of this hill and take another look around. Look on these little dells as we run past to make sure we're not missing something. Nope. Okay, yeah, this is quite a hill here. All right. There we go. One of these days I'll get another live stream going. It's just not going to be any time in the very near future. i got too many things going on right now. That I take every moment I can to do a couple videos when I can, and then hope for the best. Okay, I tried to grab that and it failed miserably. Okay. I was trying to listen to see if my jetpack would give that unmistakable sound of, okay, you've run out of the extra charge, now you're on your main charge, and it never heard it that time, so kind of weird. There we go. And we're up. Ooh, another good vantage point, huh? Nice. Wow. I can almost see my house from here. Almost. What I'd like it to say is, hey, you can see a crashed ship from here. Look what we got there. Looks like a building. Not the building we're looking for, but a building. Hey, where are you guys coming from? Right over my head. Three of them. <gasps> oh my gosh, we may have just ended this episode. Hold on. We can get a pilot exiting the ship. Oh, it's going to be one of those, is it? Nope, oh, nope, oh, there is a pilot. Don't go anywhere, sir. I'm sliding. Whoa, this could be it. This could be it. This could be it. Offer to trade. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we can do. Polyfiber. What are we up to? 4,500. Salvage data. Another 1.5. Salvage frigate module. And now you know what we need to do, right? Quick. Offer to trade. Let's see what we can sell here. Crystal sulfide. Still have nine more. Dirty bronze. Here it is. Gold nuggets. Aronium. What are we up to? Seven million. Let's check to see how much his ship is, shall we? Please be seven million. It's only three million. Ladies and gentlemen, eight minutes into our episode, we have ourselves a ship. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Nine hours. We're going to check out the timer on that too. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Yes, I know. You're all applauding and going, holy mackerel. Yes, I know. Unbelievable. Let's take off and take a look around, shall we? So first thing I'm going to do, now that we have a ship and the episode is virtually over, um... I am going to activate the hub, hub, HUD, sorry, activate the HUD, and we'll take a look around. And we got to get all our, yeah, this is going to take a while, because it's going to tell us about everything. So where's the planet? There's the planet. So we were heading in this direction, correct? All right, now it didn't give us everything because of course I've had to stop the episode and start it several times and saved it and whatever you. Now that we can scan, let's scan a little bit. I'm gonna see what we come across. 
Now, if we had headed, 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 if we had gone ahead and went in this direction, we would have came across this. What is this? That is just one of those uh, sentinel areas. And there's another one. Or something, anyway. And look at that, we were heading towards a crash ship in the distance, anyway. Uh, let me see, that looks like a little campground as well. The, the, the point is, would we have found what we were looking for? Ah, minor settlement. It's the only thing we would have found over here. Let's go ahead and land here. All right, we're going to go ahead and call it here anyway. We would have come across the minor settlement most likely because I would have went to the top of that platform and looked out and, you know, that, that hill looked out and would have found it. So, wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And we didn't even sell everything yet. That's the incredible part. Look at all the stuff I still have in my inventory. That's why you do that. See? So you get all these extra things. Wow. And I can't believe we found this. This is incredible. The cheapest ship on the market, right? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, yeah, we made it. We absolutely made it. How far away was the crash ship? 11 hours. Yeah, that wouldn't have happened. That wouldn't have happened. So, yeah, I guess we can call it congratulations. We did it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Ah. Uh. So, such a relief. I'm actually, you know, I'm almost glad it's, it's ended. <laughs> I hate to say it. We will do another HUD, No HUD challenge uh, in the near future. I've got a whole bunch of other episodes. If you, if you last, listen to the last episode, I've got a bunch of other episodes I'm interested in making in regards to uh, some, some newer videos to do, um, including another permadeath on, uh, on the new version. We're going to do just regular permadeath. Um, no extreme challenges or anything like that. Well, you know, we might go extreme on that one too. But we'll keep the HUD open and what we're going to do is we're going to do a, uh, uh, a regular playthrough. Well, permadeath, if you will. Extreme permadeath playthrough. I've tried that before. Got glitched out one time. Died. Well, here we are. But we're going to go ahead and do that next. But I am, hope you've enjoyed watching this. So these are going to be released back to back. And you're going to see the first one and say, okay, you know, 29 minutes, 30 minutes, not bad. And you're going to see the second one pop up and go, wait a minute. That's less than 15 minutes. I wonder if he found something. So what better way to end it but then to have a trader drop in front of you and you have a, a complete inventory full of stuff. And that's happened to one of you. I know one of you put a mention in there that you said that that happened to you as well. So, wow. Oh, hey, and before we go, let's take a quick look. Let's go back to here. Let's do the auto save real quick. Okay. And let's jump out and go to mode select and see how long the game was. Nine hours and 13 minutes. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, yeah. Um, not sure if I'm going to keep it in there or not. I don't have a lot of saves in here right now, but that will stay for now. And, uh, yeah. Well, again, I hope you liked the, the episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that thumbs up and like button down there. You know what I'm talking about. And the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. And we'll see you in whatever our next episode is going to be. Thank you very much for watching, folks. Take care.